So in this video, we're going to talk about ammonia and we're going to talk about is it polar or non-polar. Well, the first thing we got to do is to draw our lower structures. And so we know that uh, we have a nitrogen and we have three hydrogens that we know from the periodic table. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. We know from the periodic table, hydrogen has one valence electrons, but we have three hydrogens, so we must multiply by three. So we have the total electrons that we have to place is eight because five plus three would be eight total electrons. Now, again, we know that starting with a low structure, nitrogen is going to be in the middle because most of the times uh, the, 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 the atom first to the left in molecular formula is going to be your central atom, right? Uh, so at this point, I'm going to place uh, three hydrogens around my nitrogen and I'm going to form single bonds, right? It is the, you always build up when you draw your lower structure. In other words, start from single bonds, then go to double bonds or triple bonds. All right, so total, we have six electrons that we've placed, so we're missing two. We know that hydrogen cannot have any more electrons in because it only has one valence electron, which allows it to only form one bond. All right, so the only other place we have to put the remaining two electrons is on the nitrogen itself. Now, at this point, we could start, go ahead and join our dipole moments, right? We know that nitrogen is more electronegative than uh uh, then hydrogen, so therefore net dipole moment should be going towards the nitrogen. And it's the same for this one. And it's the same for this one. Okay. So, again, notice uh, that none of our dipole moments are canceling out. In other words, none of our dipole moments are tail on. So, something like this, none of our dipole moments are tail on like that. That means we have a net dipole moment. In this case, the dipole moment would be zero if we had seen something like this, right? But we're not seeing this pattern right here, right? We're seeing arrows going towards, uh, arrows in the form of this, and we also have a net dipole moment going upward. So the dipole moments, in other words, for lack of a better term, do not cancel out. And this is why ammonia is actually not is actually polar. So it is a polar uh, molecule because we have a net we have a net dipole uh, moment. Now I want you to be careful of something here. This is actually the 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 molecular geometry of this is actually trigonal pyramidal. And Trigonal pyramidal happens to be asymmetrical, and this is why this is another additional reason why the molecule is actually polar. But if you had a drawn ammonia in, let's say, this fashion, this wouldn't have done you justice uh, because it is not really the molecular geometry of the molecule. In fact, the form of the, the fact that these pair of lone pairs are in the middle of or in um their dead center on the central atom it actually bends the the bond angle it actually lessens the bond angle so instead of your normal uh 109 it actually decreases to about approximately 107 and so this is why this structure is more plausible for uh the the uh the um uh, the ammonia molecule, right? So it, it is the idea of uh, it is the idea of electron geometry versus that of molecular geometry. So the molecular geometry really do you justice, right? So just remember that the lone pairs on the nitrogen actually bends the bond angle um, downwards, and so this is what makes the bond angle less than what it should be ideally, and so this is what creates the dipole moments. Hence, there's no cancellation, and this is why we say ammonia is a polar molecule.